This is a 66 Strat, and the pickups that I had in it were just kind of duds. I don't know if the magnets are really weak, whatever, but uh, these pickups sound super, really old sounding pickups, and I'm running it through a, a Tweed 59 Princeton, so. But to me, uh, the pickups really agree with the amplifier, and it sounds authentic. We have a real slow approach, and you know, we take our time, make sure everything is done right. Um, you know, it's all about solving problems. I mean, I know people that change their pickups 10 times before they find the right ones. Well, that's exactly what we want to help avoid. You know, most people that are unhappy with the way their guitar sounds, the wish list is a couple of different things. Usually they say, you know, I wish it was, I wish the guitar had a, a bluesier tone or a jazzier tone or was more twangy or more punchy. There's other words for all that stuff. I mean, sometimes people will say, I wish it was warmer or I wish there were more dynamics or I wish it was quackier. Um, we all speak differently, but... You know, the four designs we have, the jazz, the blues, the twang, and the punch, it really tackles the main issues that people have with their tone. This is pretty much uh, directly contrary to what a lot of other winders do. You know, they'll tell you, you need to get it made to a certain spec with this magnet. But specs and magnets and all this stuff is meaningless if it's not applied in a way that solves the problem. And that's what we've really tried to do here. And... Anytime you challenge the status quo of the way an industry operates, there's bound to be some pushback, some naysayers, but that doesn't really bother us. What matters is how the musicians feel, how the people that have actually played the product feel about it. And our customers seem to be really, really happy with the results. Listen, man, I got the pickups and he put them in over the weekend and I had a quick gig. I, man, I'm, we'd be here all night for all the compliments I got on the tongue. You guys are freaking geniuses. That, those pickups are phenomenal. Man, I can't thank you enough, really. It really brought my guitar to life. I'm telling you, I can't put the damn thing down. I'm telling you, man, it really, really, really sounds great. Thank you so much. I've never been able to use the middle pickup on any Strat before. And I stayed on that pickup almost the whole night. And the bridge pickup, man, it's amazing. Usually it's too shrill and, and strident. It's like beautiful tone there. And unbelievable what you guys are doing over there, man. I can't thank you enough. You're a prince. Thank you so much for making all this happen for us, okay? All right, man. Take it easy now. Bye-bye. So specific pickups. Uh, a good buddy of mine, great guitarist, Leo Amwayo, told me about him. And uh, uh, after I saw what he did for Leo's guitar, I had to get in touch with him. Hey man, uh, it's pickups. Um, man, it sounds so good. Um, yeah, it's sweet. Really, really, really tasty sounds. Um, damn man, yeah, they sound they sound really cool. And those pickups your friend made are insane. They're good, right? It's so good. Yeah. I'm t I I told yeah. you. I mean, this guy is like he's like you. Yeah. He's well, a freak. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff, and man. they're like handmade, like everything's handmade. He's what I like about these pickups versus stock ones, these are uh, very dynamic. Um, they push an amp really great. Um, the stock ones are a little thinner, a little less dynamic. Um, I don't get that same sort of saturation when I really dig in. Um, so, I find that these are a huge... <laughs> is your quintessential PAF set. When I think of like an early uh, Les Paul sound, the early days of the humbucker, this is the sound that not overly overwound, you know, just kind of right there. It's slightly kind of like phased goodness. And with that trademark bloom, that really brings that kind of organic touch and sensitivity to the...
it's nice.